How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, some craziness that I've been working on, which is using the Rococo Smart Gloves. As you can see, I have five finger capture with the Perception Run suit, which is my suit. Now, uh, this channel was made on doing stuff that you couldn't find anywhere else on the internet or on YouTube. And this may be one of them because uh, this is insane. It took a little bit of figuring out, but once I did it, it just works magnificently. There is, wait, is that a word? Anyways, um, there are some little quirks that we need to solve. Like you see over here, there's a, there's a thing with my pinky and my ring finger on the right hand. Uh, however, that's something that I'm, I'm working into fixing. There's also the reason why I'm sitting down right now is because the way that this works uh, doesn't take the bottom half of the suit. So basically what you see is me wearing half my motion capture suit. That means from the hip up and from the hip down, uh, nothing works. And I mean, motion capture suit wise, just in case. So in the bone map, I need to include the hip bone from Rococo which is kind of conflicting with the hip foam from Perception Neuron, which is why if I use the bottom part of a motion capture suit, then this guy is it's going to start wiggling all around, you know, and, and start looking weird. So that's one of the reasons why I'm wearing half a motion capture suit. But as you can see, and hopefully this gets recorded, because if I look to the screen where this is being pointed at, then I can't look at you on the on the video. So one of the things that surprised me is I can do this. See, my hands are together and I'm not using the coil pro. I don't, I don't have any, anything weird, but look, I can put my hands together, which is something that I couldn't do before. Like if I was wearing the perception around gloves, just, I don't know what's going on in the chain that's making this happen. But if I, if you look at the Rococo software, the hands are actually not together. So if I do this, you can see the Rococo software, it just crosses the hand. Even if I do whatever calibration, however many calibrations I can do, the hands will always be crossing each other unless I have the Rococo Pro. That being said, because I have my Perception Neuron suit, I now can, can do this, which is, I mean, it's not perfect, of course, but hands colliding, it's, it's something that I was never, that I've never been able to do before. So that is, that, that is beautiful. Um, I'm also running live length phase with my iPhone. So this is a meta human animator and I'm trying to do this real time. So this, this is, this is probably not the best animation, uh, that I've done, but it, it gets the job done. So. Okay, just one more uh, thing before we go into how I made this. It, I'm not in Replicant. I'm in full-blown Unreal Engine right now. This is one of my uh, space station um, environments that I am kind of putting together for a short film. And this is, if you watch my channel, you know this is the metahuman character that I've been using for my short film and for a lot of things. He's kind of like my test dummy. And uh, yeah, this is in Replicant. Just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, now, how is this possible? Let me just uh, shrink this a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. And let's look at the Anim Blueprint. All right, so as you can see, um, what we have here is the uh, Animation Blueprint. And this is where pretty much everything is running. So as you can see, this guy right here is I'm waving. That's me. And uh, he's not talking because the face is a different blueprint, of course, because this is a metahuman. But as you can see, that's just me moving around. Going my, now I'm grabbing the mouse and doing this. If we go here into how the blueprint works, you can see that we have the usual output, po uh, output post. We're in the anim graph, of course. Now, this is something that uh, ships with Rococo. Once you install the plugin, you'll get this note. And this is what pretty much runs the Rococo suit. So if I was wearing the full suit, this is what runs it. 
it has a couple of variables. Now, one of the variables contain the name actor because Rokoku does need the name actor that comes from Rokoku Studio. As you can see, I have my name actor right here uh, with my gloves. Hello. And that is the same name that goes into the Rokoku uh, note right here. Now, the other thing that I have into this, um, this part of the Rokoku note is a bone map. So if we go to that bone map, let me show you. This is a bone map that I made with the bone map that they provide. So Rococo also provides a bone map, which I think is pretty cool. You pretty much don't have to do anything. I uh, just set a, the animation blueprint real quick in Unreal. That's super easy to do. So what I did is I erased everything from the bone map except for the hands. Uh, of course, the fingers are left in there because that's what I'm capturing, the fingers. And uh, I left the pelvis in. The reason why the pelvis is in here is because from what I said in the beginning, this would not work if I took out the pelvis. If I took out the pelvis, then I get zero um, capture from Rococo. So the pelvis has to be there. Sam told me that they're going to try to work on this a little bit because it shouldn't be like that. Uh, but anyways, it works. It doesn't matter. It's just I'm just have to be sitting down. Now, the other component of this is this lifelink post note, which is what I usually use with my uh, perception neuron suit. So perception neuron, uh, you throw in a lifelink post note and then you just use one of the remap assets that they have. In this case, I'm using a metahuman. So I use the metahuman lifelink remap asset that they already uh, include. So you don't have to load anything extra. This note that you see floating right here, if you are a Rococo user, you know that this is the T-Post that you should be using if you are using Rococo. Now, I'm not going to be using a T-Post in this one because I perception around doesn't need a T-Post. So I didn't add it. Now, if I did plug in the T-Post in here, then uh, this guy would go into a T-Post and I would have to switch my perception neuron from MetaHuman into their other mannequin thing. And the problem with that is um, it'll give me all sorts of janks. So perception around when you're using MetaHuman, it's meant to be used this way. And they are using MetaHumans in the A pose that it comes. So that's why using the T pose in this case would be detrimental. However, I, I think if I plug in the T pose, then I will probably correct the finger problems that I have. Now, the good thing about this setup is now those bits, if you if you watch my video about the smart gloves, the one that I did uh, a little bit ago, um, one uh, aside from I'm, I'm still trying to to do my guitar playing with this. Um, there's just some modifications that I need to do before I post something. But as you can see from what I added on the intro, it is possible. Now, when it comes to what am I going to use this for? I want to use this in the coming short film and they were some shots that I was trying to avoid just because I it's just I could not get them to work with the hands. It just looked too funky. So parts like when I'm driving the spaceship or uh, people are doing typing like this. Now I can do this motion, which is pretty cool. Or if I needed to kind of like have a I have a hands up and throttle the whole task that you use for space games. So that's what I'm going to use to kind of like simulate driving the ship. And there's going to be some driving this way as well. And like I said, this this will allow me to not force the shots away from the hands just because the hands look funky. With my perception around gloves, you have motion in one and two fingers, but you don't have motion in, in all of the other fingers. All right, I've shown you how I set this up. By the way, a huge shout out to Sam from Rococo. He's the creative director. I actually spoke to him and he was the one who gave me the key uh, about using the bone map to get this to work. So thanks a lot, Sam. This only happened because we uh, worked together. <laughs> Would I recommend anyone to do this setup? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I am pretty happy with this. But if you don't have any motion capture suit, I would not recommend this setup because uh, it just it, it's better that you have the suit with everything that you need from the get go. So if you're going to be to 
right now the best solution that I think of is you get the smart gloves and you get the coil pro that way you have five finger motion capture and you get the coil pro so it can drive your character from the waist up and you use lifelink face to drive the facial animations now if you plan on doing that there's a discount code below that you can use and um, it's gonna give you a discount and it gives something to me if you use it again that's a setup that I recommend. I have not tried the Rokoku suit, so I cannot speak on that, like how everything works. When it comes to perception neuron, if you want to get the perception neuron, then just know that you're not going to get finger capture. One of the things about doing five finger capture, this is one of those things that you figure out you don't need it until you have it, then you need it all the time. And uh, I'm thankful that I can do this now. But if I were to do this again, if I were to buy the whole suit again, then I would think of a solution that comes with five finger motion capture that I can afford. Now, when it comes to the motion capture suits, I'm going to have a discussion uh, on another video because that's pretty long. I don't want this video to drag too long. I'm going to name it the ultimate guy for motion capture. In that ultimate guy, we're going to be talking about some of the motion capture suits that I've tested. I have the perception neuron. I have a friend that has accents and has accents with the man's gloves. So I'm also being able to do this with Rococo. Uh, hopefully I can get to test out the suit, but I'm, I'm going to have that guide pretty soon. So please subscribe to the channel so you can see that. And uh, yeah, just leave me a comment on what you think about motion capture. Because I'm going to be building that video because of all the comments that I got in through all my mocap videos. And that is include the AI mocaps that I've used. So if you have any questions, any doubts about motion capture, please leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to address it in, in the next video. Uh, once again, there's a Patreon down there. If you want to help out the channel, there's some perk for you. If you do, there are two levels of the Patreons. They are right now on one side of the screen. Um, you can also help me out with, if you're going to buy Rococo, then you can just use the discount code below. It'll give something to me. Any Rococo product that you buy uh, will help me out as well. If you want to do so right now, if not, then just wait for my next video where I'm going to talk about everything motion capture. There's a Twitter if you want to follow me on there. There's also the Discord if you have any questions. And um, I'll see you in the next video.